Alright, this is just a quick tutorial on how to change your or make your XBMC have a static IP address. It's got good benefits for um, working on your network just so it's more reliable and it doesn't change all the time. It's just easy to work with, I suppose, if you were doing it playing with advanced settings and whatnot. Alright, so first off, you want to open up terminal if you're on Mac, SSH space username at the IP address of your XBMC. So you can find that IP address with an app like, like IP scanner for home. So that's it there. You know, if you can't, if you don't know it. So do, do that, press enter, and it'll ask you for your password. It's running a bit slow today, so we'll see how we go. Yeah, you can go to wiki, XBMC on wiki, and um, it shows you, it gives you all these outlines here on how to do it. So I'm basically just showing you what they are visually. So now you're in. Okay, before you do anything, you want to just make sure, see what type of it, um, network card you've got in there. So just type in ifconfig. All right, so we're dealing with ETH0 which is going to be our one. So that's going to be the same as here. So it doesn't, well, it's not different. Sometimes you'll find network cards will have a different um, name. So you, that, which is why you need to do that step and just replace that name with your one. All right, so once you've done that, type in sudo su. And then put your password in again. And you can just copy this. Enter. All right. So this brings you to the BI editor. So you can just use your up, down, left, right type thing. Um, so you want to go to the end here, and then if you go to like Google and type in BI um, commands, you'll, you can find a site like this and how to actually um, insert stuff. So we can just. Um, you know, we get, we'll type O, and that will bring us to a new line, and enter. So, just so we can keep it nice and neat, like we do have here, have a space there. Yeah, so I want to copy this across. So unfortunately, you can't copy paste, so you're going to have to type it in manually. So, your address is going to be what you want to set the static IP to. So yours might not be in the same range as mine, but so, so your gateway is going to be your router. All right, so that's all done. You want to quickly check it. Once you're happy, you checked everything, everything's good. You just want to Press escape, colon, and you save, so exit saving changes, so colon X, and enter. And now we can just check it. So you want to check it just by pressing that, going into it, enter, and it looks all good. So once you do that, I believe you have to restart the system, and you're good to go once you restart it.